Hey guys, John from ShineOn here, and today we're gonna talk about how you can take advantage of ShineOn's upsell products using the Zipify OCU app to do post-purchase upsells. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the app that I'm gonna be showing you in this video is One Click Upsell, um, and it's by Zipify. And uh, One Click Upsell is a, uh, we are gonna be using it for a post purchase upsell. There are other ways you can use this for different upsells on your store, but for the purposes of what we're doing, we are gonna be using the post purchase funnel that allows you to select uh, products that people might be buying and then show them offers based on those products after they've already checked out to get them to just up their order value just a little bit. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna put this in my store and then we are gonna jump in and create a funnel. All right, so once you get the app installed and set up, and like I said, there is a, uh, there's a free trial available for this. I believe it's 30 days, 10, 10 30, and depends. Uh, it is, it does go to $25 a month after that, but I do think that if you're getting sales, this is gonna quickly pay for itself, so you, it's not gonna be an issue. The first thing you need to do is actually create a funnel. Now, I'm assuming you've already gone in and published one of our upsell products, if you haven't published one of our upsell products, you will want to refer to the video I did that's an all-encompassing how to use upsells on the app. Um, but if not, if you're confused, if you go to a, the Shine On app and you click upsells in a new product, it'll allow you to publish uh, any of the upsell products. You just need to have them in your store so that you can use them. So um, I'll set up a new funnel rather than my existing one. And I'm gonna call it Earring 2 and it's a product type, uh, trigger type. So it's gonna trigger when someone purchases a specific product. So I have a product called test product and that's gonna be my trigger. So when uh, someone is buying the test product, be it a standard box or a mahogany box, uh, they will get offered an earring. That's what I wanna do here. So you can see I'm adding in uh, my new funnel, so the, the trigger products is that the product we already selected, which is uh, our test product, which you can see here. It's test product in the standard box and test product in the mahogany box. Perfect. Um, uh, the cart contains the trigger. Um, we're not gonna do a pre-purchase upsell. Um, customer checks out and then there's a post-purchase upsell. So I'm gonna choose um, my what I want to show them after they've already checked out. And what I want to show them is my CZ stud six millimeter earring. So you can see I have these cubic zirconium earrings, six millimeters. That's the one I want to go ahead in there. That is the earring that I built uh, inside the Shine On app as an upsell. So now that we have added that in, uh, we're gonna stick with just the one upsell, keep it simple. That looks all really good. We're gonna go ahead and publish. Um, so it does, it can take um, a second for things to go publish, but this one looks like it's good to go. Let's go back to our home. Um, let's check our funnels. I, I have an existing funnel in here called Earring, and then I have a new one here. This one is turned on. It all looks good. So now let's go ahead and test this. Okay, so now that I have our upsell set up, I'm here and I'm on our test product that we talked about. This is the trigger for our event. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my cart and go forward into checkout. Um, I'm going to cut off and go through uh, check out and then I will bring you guys back once I have placed an order. So now we're gonna see what happens now that I have placed this order. As you can see, I'm getting the confirmation you paid for your order. But at the same time, I am now getting a offer for our cubic zirconium earrings. So you can see here, it shows a nice image. It has the title. It says, hey, these are marked down from $30 to 15. Um, now this just says you can put a I haven't edited it, so you're just seeing the base thing. And all you're seeing is what it's gonna cost. Hey, it's, it's $15 to add this. 
It's got a taxes of a dollar and five cents. You're gonna pay sixteen dollars five cents. If you hit pay now, and I just pay now, it just adds it to that original order. Now on your credit card statement, you might see two uh, payments: one for sixteen dollars, as you can see here, and then one for the original amount. Where's my mouse? There it is, right here. You can see there's two listed. No big deal though. Uh, but you can see here now, I, 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 that customer didn't have to enter any uh, credit card information or anything like that. So that's how the post-purchase upsell is gonna work. It's gonna throw them after they've already made their purchase and try and get them to buy something else. Now what I do wanna show you is how do you edit that screen that's displayed. So let's just jump back into the app real quick. All right. So I am back inside the OCU uh, one click upsell app and I'm looking at our funnels and what I want to do is go ahead into our funnel that we were just looking at. And if we go down here to the post purchase upsell offer number one, which is the one that we were using and we click to edit, it's going to bring us to an editing screen and it's going to give you some tips and stuff like that. But in the most part, it shows you this is what it's going to display and you can click on all of these things and you can change what it's going to say what it's going to look like if you want um you know different colors if we want to change the text that's in here we can um you can change color of buttons if that's what you want to do um but there's a lot of ability in here that you can come in and change things in how this displays so that you can make it so it best displays for your customer and so that matches your store and your normal buying experience. Um, you know, you're able to just go ahead and preview this exactly how it would look on your store where you see the, hey, you've paid for this, this is what it's gonna look like. I think that's really nice to be able to go in and actually see that. So this is how you will go in and edit this. When I set up that test funnel, I set it up with one trigger product. Now let's say you have an entire collection of Mother's Day products and you want to add those to your funnel so they buy anything. And that's what this is for. You can select collection and if you, um, when you create this, you'll actually get to pick an entire collection out of your store and every product in that collection would get added. So I could go in here and say for men and hit select. And then every product that's in that collection will get this funnel. So that's a really easy way to mass publish a funnel to all of your Shine On products. You can create a collection called Shine On and then you can add this funnel in to work with every single one of those products if you want. So keep that in mind. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to use the one click upsell app by Trackify along with Shine On and the upsell products we are now offering so that you can sell these earrings or other upsells that we offer on your store. Now, uh, one click upsell is a $25 a month fee. But like I said, if you're making five to $10 per earring upsell, uh, all you gotta do is get a couple of those a month and you've paid for the app. My assumption is gonna be that you're gonna get plenty and it's gonna be no issues for you at all. So go ahead, try this out, uh, publish your products and see how the upsells will work for you.